I just felt like it was something that was missing at, at the university. I had looked for it. I noticed that it wasn't there. Um, I'd spoken with my friend Cody, and we decided to um, start it together. We just started the Artificial Intelligence Club last quarter. We started. We had our first meeting in February. You have computer science, you have linguistics, you have psychology, you have philosophy. All of the components work together. So it really provides a lot of opportunities for students of many, many majors and interests. We currently have three subgroups. We have a gaming group, which is um, pretty self-explanatory. It's putting AI concepts into games. So maybe making intelligent adversaries. So if I'm playing a first-person shooter, if the other adversary can learn from my moves, then it can be so-called intelligent. So something I just uh, recently worked on last month was I made an iPhone app called Floppy Fish. And, you know, it was the first iPhone game I made. And it really inspired me to want to make more iPhone games. So I think the AI Club is going to work off of the Floppy Fish app and kind of extend the basic structure of that game and apply like artificial intelligence principles to it. Um, we have another group, which is machine learning. Machine learning is basically um, a field that focuses on how can we get a computer to make predictions from very large data sets, which is really the way that we learn. In trying to create an intelligent machine, I think that having to understand language and really modeling a machine after the brain or vice versa is really the best way to understand an intelligent being and to get computers to think. Um, and the third group we have is natural language processing. Natural language processing is everything that comes out of your mouth, everything that you speak, every sound you make, analyzing that, making it parsable and making it computable, making it understandable to computers. And once that's understandable to computers, you can do almost anything you want with it. I guess Siri is a very primitive version of NLP. Google Now is a very primitive version, using a pr more primitive version of NLP. I was originally interested in the subject of linguistics. Um, I mean, when I was 13, I made my own written language, and I just knew this was like what I loved. We can understand the common algorithms that are involved with our brains. Then we can implement those principles in computers and allow computers to be truly intelligent. If you ask yourself, what is intelligent? I think the only thing that I can think of that's really intelligent is you and myself and other human beings and maybe, maybe some animals. So I think those are the things that we know is intelligent, and if we want to make artificial intelligence, then we have to somewhat model those things based off of ourselves and how the brain works.